How's she born? <laughs> She's sleeping. She, uh, she knows she miscarried? Yes. She was very brave, poor darling. Morning, Jack. Thanks for taking over for me. Kids are still sleeping. How about uh, any other injuries? Well, believe it or not, there's nothing really serious. Oh, she's battered and bruised, all right. I don't know, it's something of a miracle. She's got to be the bravest, mm. strongest, most courageous. She is, darling, she is. And even though she lost the babe, she didn't lose her life. And we still have our girl, which makes it a beautiful morning, no matter how miserable the two of us look. For a pair who's been up for two nights, you look yes. pretty damn good. Well, and that's there right before breakfast. Well, I think I'll make some biscuits on the strength of that before the coffee's done. <laughs> I am not sitting across the same table with that man. Oh, I asked Joe to come by and have a bite with us. Oh. I, uh, I don't mean to upset you, lady, but it's, it's all I can do is, is look at the man, much less break bread with him. John. John, he loves Siobhan. And that baby was as much his as it was hers. You also went through agony with the kidnapping. How about if I sit between you? All right, I'll manage. I'll manage somehow, lady. All right. If the man had any brains at all, he'd take his breakfast somewhere else. Here he is. Hi. Hi. I, uh, I guess she's doing all right. She's amazing. Johnny was just saying the same thing. That's not what I said, exactly. I'm, uh, sorry about the baby. Yeah. The main thing is Siobhan's all right. Look, you want me out of here, just say so. I don't necessarily want you out of here right now, not this minute, no. Uh, maybe somebody should go up and uh, wake little John. Listen, uh, yeah. I think you know this, but in case you don't, I feel responsible for all of it, Siobhan. My child, your grandchild. I'm sorry. I believe you are sorry. But what does that mean, to be responsible? What are you going to do, Joe? What I should have done a long time ago. I hope that means what I think it does. But with the baby gone, you'll get out of my daughter's life once and for all. Johnny, it's the wrong time, not... Listen, uh, my uncle was asleep before. I think I'll go over and tell him Siobhan's okay. Well, there's only one way she's going to stay okay. If you love her, you'll do the decent thing. Tell Maeve I'll see her later. Well, he had to give me an opening. Yeah. And I had to take. Mm -hmm. Let him go to Tizo and let Siobhan come back with us. Yeah, that's one solution. It's the only solution. I think Joe has something else in mind. this morning? I think I'm lots better. I'm breathing easier and it's not a terrible effort to, just to turn over in bed and I slept most of the night and I can't even remember what I dreamed. Wow. Pretty good, huh? Very good. I think it really helped whatever you did with that hypnotherapy. Well, it's no mystery, Delia. Hypnosis is a tool that helps clear the path to your unconscious. You happen to be an excellent subject and it's very clear that you want to feel better. I really do. I hate feeling scared and... And what? I don't know. Angry. Alone. Awful. I was wondering, can we do another session soon? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Dr. Bolak is due back this afternoon, and I know that means an informal staff meeting on top of everything else. But I do have some time right now. Oh, please. Oh, good. Now, 
We know the reason why you're feeling alone and frightened and angry for the past couple of weeks. But the danger is past, and the fear should be gone, too. Since it hasn't, it must be something else. Perhaps another time or another place when you felt frightened and it didn't somehow get resolved. See, it's actually those fears that are disturbing you now. Yeah, I understand. Good. Okay. Relax. Breathe as deeply and as regularly as possible. We're going to start some of those exercises that worked so well last night. Okay. Concentrate on your toes. All ten of them. Relax your toes. And breathing deeply. very heavy. You would like to lift it, but you can't. Try and lift your right arm, Delia. I can't. It's too heavy. Okay, now relax. Now you're completely relaxed and free. Tell me how you're feeling. Scared. Of what? I don't know. Okay. Now let's go back in time, back to another time when you felt afraid in just the same way. Yes. Will you tell me what's going on? Yes. Where are you? I'm walking into the parlor. It's a beautiful room. I think it's a palace. What are you doing there? I need work. So, Father Dunn says you're a good girl. Clean, honest, and willing to work. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I am willing to work. And I try to be good. And you have a letter of recommendation. Oh, I have two, ma'am. Oh, one from the sisters and one from my last house. I'm so afraid. Of her? No. I want her to like me. I'm afraid of... something. Something in the house? Yeah, maybe. Oh, you're shivering. Move over by the fire, girl. I'm not cold. I'm afraid. Gary, what is this? It's morning. I've just come from Mass. But when? In winter. In what year? Winter, 1895. Do you know who's the President of the United States? Mr. Well, Clinton. They think very highly of you. Thank you. Now, it's long hours here, and the master of the house is a difficult man, and the son more so, but in a different sort of way. But it's a decent house and well run, if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. It's a dollar a week, room and board, half day on Sunday. The work is yours if you want it. Oh, I do. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> oh, good morning, sir. This is Delia. Uh, Father Dunn recommended her. She'll be with us as of today. Good morning, Delia. No. Delia? Oh, good. I've got a better idea about Siobhan. I woke up with it. This Tizo, she's back. She's safe. She's uh, not too hurt. She's two floors down in a bed below you. Since when? Last night. Well, why didn't you tell me last night? What happened? How hurt is she? I didn't tell you last night because it was late and because there was so much going on. Two men had her holed up in Queens. One was named Leon. The other was uh, that same guy that came after you here. They made the mistake of leaving her in a room with her hands tied in front of her, uh, all alone with a window. She saw her chance and escaped. And 
A woman found her two stories down in an alley somewhere behind Greenhill Street. Julie, how, how hurt is she? She lost the baby. Oh. Say, tell me, now's a good time to let her off the hook. What are you talking about? Leave her in peace. Give her an annulment, anything she wants. You don't want to do that? Her father wants me to. No, I'm not going to leave her. That's right. You know I wanted that baby, too. Forgive me for the kind of life you have to lead. Jeez, oh. I got you into this, and now I snap at you and you take charge the way I taught you to. I'm sorry. Of course you couldn't call me last night. Caesar, there's something I want to tell you now. I know what now. you want to say, believe me. I know how you feel, but we won't talk about that now. In a day or so, when we take care of Leon and his friend, and Wally, too, if we're lucky, you can talk then. And I know then you're going to feel different. Tito, how can Trust I? Trust me. Not now. Did Siobhan find out anything else? Any other information? Yeah. She overheard their end of a phone call from somebody named Morty. They were making plans to kill her and us. Exterminate me and my line. It's necessary that this be taken care of quickly. Look, I don't even want revenge. All Boy, I care about... the score has to be settled. You'll be surprised how much better you'll feel. My strength is coming back a little more day by day. Get George on the phone for me. It's Jack's. He's uh, up trying to help little John find some socks, <laughs> and he's fine. <laughs> little John has a drawer full of socks, second from the bottom. Well, maybe he's trying to find some time to spend with his grandfather, <laughs> or maybe he's trying to cheer him up. John was pretty smart about things like that. Tell me, what did his grandfather say to Joe, hmm? Only what he told you, nothing more. I wish he'd said a great deal less. I feel for Joe. I'm also angry, and I've certainly thought what Johnny put into words. Joe couldn't have been surprised. Do you think it should be the end of the marriage? I mean, does that seem best to you? Maeve, I uh, have a tough enough time trying to figure out what I should do. Oh, that was on the bar. It's yours. I saw it up in the parlor. What is it? Uh, a drawing a friend of Frank's made for me. <clears throat> it has to do with my dream. Oh? Yeah, I described the face in my dream, and this guy drew it. It's a, it's a pretty good likeness. Oh. Do you think that this man had something to do with me, Eddie? You do? Uh, not completely. I know that he's the man we saw one day in a coffee house with Kim Harris. She recognized his friend as the one who mugged her, and then they both ran out. I'm also pretty sure that Mary saw him again the day of the accident. How do you know that? Asking around. Look, uh, I'm not ready to lay out whatever suspicions I may have. I only told you this much because I find it's a damn hard to lie to you. Well, I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. Do, you, do you think he had something to do with her death? I think he may have. Oh. Please, let it go until I know more. All right. What happened? I'm not sure. Something surprised you or alarmed you, perhaps? I, it wasn't bad. No? No, I feel... I don't want to stop. Can we try it again? Yes. Yes, of course. Sit back and relax. That's fine. You're going to go under much easier this time. Now, just be very still and clear your mind. Breathe regularly and relax. And go back to where you were. Back to the beautiful room. Yes. And the housekeeper. 
Where are you? Will you tell me what's going on? I can't look at him. May I have a word or two with you? Oh, certainly, sir. Uh, would you ring, though, when you're through? I'd like to uh, take Delia up to her room and then show her the kitchen. Very well. You are perfectly safe. You have a very expressive face, which may be just as well, since apparently you don't speak. Oh, I'm sorry, forgive me. It certainly wasn't my intention to make you cry. Here, it's a handkerchief. I know what it is, thank you. Uh, I had my own. Well, let's start again. I am not a wicked person. And I will not take advantage of you in any way. Now, this is a rather ordinary and undoubtedly dull place to work. But sometimes appearances are deceiving, which was my point to begin with. She is a wonderful housekeeper and quite exacting. But you must not be afraid of her. Because she has a heart of gold. Oh, I wasn't. Afraid of her. I'm glad to hear that. And you are not afraid of me. No, sir. Splendid. I think we'll get on very well. What's that? I must go to him. Funny. Adam, what's going on? Well, Delia, I think what's happening is that your unconscious is trying to do what we had hoped it would, which is to give us some idea of what frightened you in the past and help us understand about what's frightening you now. What did I say to you? Well, if you don't mind, I'd rather not talk about that now. I just don't want your conscious to intrude. You understand? I think so. You trust me? Yeah. You want to go on with this? Oh, yes. Good. Fascinating. I think it'll prove to be very helpful. I hope so. <laughs> How do you feel? Better, but unsettled, unfinished. Tell me something, Delia. Yeah. Who was the president of the United States in 1895? Are you serious? Absolutely. I don't know. Theodore Roosevelt? Who? Grover Cleveland? I guess so. You can prove it by me. Why? Not important. I'll see you a little bit later, OK? OK, thank you. Sure. Grover Cleveland. Lyons. Hello. Is Jack Finelli there? This is Phil Hirsch. Oh, yes. One moment, please. I'll call him. Jack. It's uh, a Mr. Hirsch. Thanks. Hi. Hey, listen, I just found out you tried to get a hold of me. Uh, my girlfriend's great with messages. Yeah, we had several chats. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gloria's beautiful, but sometimes I don't know. I hope um, it didn't mess you up, my not calling back. No, no, that's OK. I'm sorry if I confuse Gloria. Yeah, well, everything confuses Gloria. Uh, so uh, what can I do for you? Well, I have a few more questions about my wife, Phil. Could we sit down for about a half an hour sometime today or tonight? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I just uh, pulled a late shift tonight and tomorrow's. I'll, uh, all piled up already. Um, 
You want to ask me now? I'd rather not get into it over the phone. Uh, now you get your dinner, or at least a drink. I'll meet you wherever you say. Uh, when you do it work. Yeah, well, uh, tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll drop by Ryan's after lunch. That'll work out for me, OK? Great, I'll see you then. Thank you. Are you going to show him the drawing? Uh, I'm not sure. Something uh, funny about him. I'm just not sure. Stella was all work and no play until someone unexpected helped her find her groove. Angela Bassett, Tay Diggs, and Whoopi Goldberg star in the Sunday night movie, How Stella Got Her Groove Back, Sunday night at 8 on SoapNet.